Get comfy and sleepy with four hours of continuous storytelling for grown-ups to help you fall asleep fast. You're listening to The Cozy Cabin Collection. Journey through dreamy natural landscapes with six calm sleep stories featuring cabins and cottages set to the sounds of falling rain. As you listen, your imagination creates relaxing getaways you may visit whenever you need an escape from the outside world. Adults deserve bedtime stories too and a sacred bedtime routine as much as children. In tonight's collection, explore a barrier island, an idyllic lake, lush forests, mountainside dwellings, rolling verdant hills, and a mystical bayou that all remind you that you are part of nature. The cabins remind you that peace and comfort may be found anywhere. So find a safe place to cuddle up and enjoy this collection for deep sleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of my voice as that of an old trusted friend or a maternal guide. Let my words wrap around you in a sweet embrace as you unwind and come down from the day as we begin with a brief meditation and talk down to set the tone for the night. Imagine yourself getting cozy in the cabin of your dreams. It's a rainy night and the sound of my voice lulls you into a deep state of relaxation. This moment may enliven the feelings that come when you are read to by someone who cares about you. As raindrops patter on the roof and stream down the windows, you sink into your bed, tucked comfortably beneath your favorite bedding. The cabin of your dreams offers a deep sense of safety, a place to truly let down your guard. Embrace the softness of this moment and the soft parts of you. Feel everything slowing down, starting with your breath as you surrender with the ease of rain streaming down the windows of the cabin. Let my voice remind you of the unlimited potential you have to self-soothe and welcome thoughts and ideas that completely transform the moment. You have made it through another day and have the right to do whatever feels good for you right now. At any point, you may let go of my voice and slip into the soothing comfort of sleep. You know your needs most, so enhance and craft this experience to what works for you. Each listen will be different as no moment is the same. And you are always adapting and flowing from one moment to the next. Feel yourself getting heavier, sinking into the mattress. Gratitude radiates throughout your body as you let out a sigh. Your closed eyelids are like shutters on this cabin closing you off from the outside world. With a sigh, you cast away every worry or concern 
that may be lingering in your mind, creating space for thoughts that make you smile and feel good. When you're ready, inhale slowly through your nose and imagine the air smells clean with the aroma of the sweet old wood of the cabin and notes of fresh rain expand your body approaching this breath with kindness and not pushing yourself too much you may yawn at the top of your breath and then let everything out in a sigh Every intake and out breath brings a wave of peace that ripples over you. Your muscles melt and tension dissipates. Follow the tempo that feels right for you. As you inhale, maybe yawn and sigh. As the wind whips around the cabin, you revel in the sweet, dry air, tending to your inner child with all the love and tenderness you have always deserved. Your breath eases back into a normal rhythm as your head sinks deeper into the pillow. It's time for the stories to begin. The Forest Cabin The boreal forest in Canada comprises a third of the forest that rings around the upper portion of the northern hemisphere. It expands from the easternmost fringe of Newfoundland to the Yukon. The vast forest is known for its canopy closure, where one may find refuge and protection beneath the lush crowns of conifer trees. The forest begins to thin before becoming tundra. But to the south, the forest is thick and full of life. On sunny days, tiny slivers of gilded light slip through the needles, and patches of the forest floor light up like enchanted pots of gold. You walk on a winding path as a low-lying blanket of fog slithers through the forest. The temperature is mild. The air is damp, and you are dressed in the most comfortable clothes for exploration. The fragrant notes of balsam fir, white and black spruce, and jack pine dominate the misty air. Each breath feels cleansing, slightly mentholated as the air is sharp and sweet. But the notes of balsam fir, the royalty of spruce fragrances, are the strongest with their heady elixir of balsamic vinegar, jam, and medicinal camphor. As you walk through the wooded area, you can imagine the sage voices of Aborigines centuries ago who evoked the spirit of the woods. You hear their whispers. The forest can heal you. Perhaps you came for healing. Perhaps you came for adventure. Perhaps you came because you need to connect with the slower pulse of the boreal forest. A sacred place where modern souls can go to catch their breath. 
a breath they hadn't even realized they lost track of. And as you wander the forest, you find you are lost, but not in a scary way, in a way that amplifies your confidence as you trust your intuition to guide you. No maps or roads are needed. You feel a tug in your solar plexus that guides you. And when you make a wrong turn, the hair stands up on your skin to let you know you need to go in a different way. You revel in the curiosity you experienced as a child when much of life was enjoyed for the first time. And in this forest, many encounters feel new again, or as if they are happening for the first time. This brings you a tingling feeling of aliveness and hope. The persistent swishing sounds of a rushing stream become louder with each step. Branches and twigs crunch beneath your feet, preventing your comfortable shoes from sinking into the damp, recently thawed earth. A blue spotted salamander curls up on a shimmering ebony rock that juts out of the rusty orange pine needle carpet. Its appearance is an indication of winter's end. The harsh, cold months in the taiga span much of the year and the animals of the forest come out to celebrate the mild days like today, even though the day carries the threat of rain. You approach a white-capped stream, overflowing with chilly water from melted ice and snow that once coated the forest in a winter wonderland. The silvery blue water cascades downhill, flowing over a jagged cliff in a rushing waterfall. White, gauzy mist off the stream blends with the low-lying fog. The dreamy droplets land on your hands and face and you move slower, carefully, and with precision. The velvety light brown antlers of an elk cut through the fog. You watch the grand creature languidly sip from the cold stream. His thick neck rises and he snorts. His breath condenses in the air and he turns his head to make eye contact with you. You connect for a moment before he dashes off into the woods. His thunderous hooves the earth around the stream to shake. You are more in tune with the vibrations of the forest after this encounter. As you walk farther away from the waterfall, the current in the stream becomes softer. The gently lapping waves soothe you 
trickling over algae-covered stones, smoothed by time. The rhythmic flutter of pine branches caught up in the soft breeze cause you to feel light and more aware of the movement of the air. Birds fly from one feathery branch to the next, exploring the afternoon hours with the awareness of a rainstorm on the way. The animals of the boreal forest are as capable of predicting changes in the weather as the greatest technology. They rely on their innate wisdom to guide them. Pieces of sky appear through the closed crown forest. The rich purple-gray swaths of clouds promise the rain will soon begin. The air becomes sharper as the wind changes direction and speed unexpectedly. You feel in your bones that you are close to home. Deep in this forest where brave souls venture to disconnect and connect at the same time. You continue down the path and come upon various shapes formed out of pine cones. It's the first indicator of human life you have encountered on this walk. A heart, a crescent moon, and a few stars formed from pine cones of all sizes. Pine cones coated in a thick mint green layer of dried pitch cause a smile to form on your face. The art of Aborigines started appearing in the caves of the forest centuries past. Humans have always seemed to have the impulse to recreate the natural beauty around them with their own embellishments and creative flair. Perhaps we do it in an attempt to say was here. The fog thickens when you arrive at your cabin. Windows run from the floor to the A-frame ceiling so you can peer into the comforting elements of the cabin while outdoors and take in the majesty of nature while comforted inside. You walk to the woodshed where a family of raccoons found refuge throughout the winter months. They are out exploring the forest when you approach the shed to gather an armful of splintered logs. As you balance the cut wood on your hip, you are reminded of your strength and health, not once taking them for granted. Hours before sunset, the forest has become quite dark. Another indication the storm is near. A few drops of rain fall on the needled branches in a gentle staccato beat, only perceptible because the forest is so quiet and still. 
You walk to the front door of the cabin. Your feet land on a doormat that contains a quote from Thoreau. All good things are wild and free. You pause on the mat and turn around. Looking out at the forest to appreciate the deep resounding freedom that rises from your feet and travels to your heart center and face. Being this free causes your face to tingle as your cheeks try to resist a smile or laugh at the pure elation that comes with being untethered to modern life and responsibilities beyond your survival and comfort. Checklists are replaced with valuable observations Shallow breaths are replaced with the deepest breaths of cleansing air you've taken in some time. The rain comes down heavier, finding its way to the earth, trickling down branches and falling with loud splats on the mossy stones and sweet forest floor. Unapologetic, the raindrops land where they like. Free, clear, purposeful, and ready to fulfill their destiny. Your body becomes tired as you feel the effects of the long walk and the weight of the logs you carry. Your eyes become heavy and tired, invited by the early darkness brought on by the storm. Your mind knows it's time to relax and hunker down. These encouraging moments for rest are delivered often from nature when deep within the forest. You open the door and step into the cabin. The wooden floorboards creak beneath your feet as you slip out of your wet shoes and step into mule slippers. You carry the logs to the wall of windows and place them on a slate blue stone floor beneath a suspended ivory fireplace. The dry, sweet air of the cabin makes you aware of how cool your skin became outside. The ethereal fog wraps around the cabin and rises up the windows. You place pieces of tinder into the suspended fireplace its body round and reminiscent of an astronaut's helmet. You strike a long match against the stone floor and a flame appears, filling the air with a hint of sulfur. The small dry wood catches fast crackling and popping. 
The noise disrupts your sleeping pet, who rests in a bed by the windows. They rise to welcome you home. The sweet animal presses against your side as you add a log to the fire. Orange flames lick the round interior of the fireplace and pour honeyed light onto the open room. The A-frame roof mirrors the triangular tops of coniferous trees. The lofty ceilings give you a sense of freedom with all the space that they offer. Rain falls on the skylights and streams down the windows. Your pet stretches in a downward dog position and then looks to you longingly telepathically communicating, it's time to be fed. You walk through the spacious living room to the open concept kitchen. Windows behind a farmhouse sink look out on the stream. Some days, a gray-eyed lynx will sip from the stream when it is unaware of your presence. But on rainy spells, she is rarely seen. You remove a clear glass canister of your pet's favorite food and put it into their dish. You refresh their water and place both ceramic bowls on a mat by a sliding glass door that leads to a deck. Occasionally, the raccoon family residing in the woodshed will wander to the porch and curiously peer in at your pet. There is mutual respect between you and your animal neighbors in the forest. A coexistence made harmonious over time. In the forest, you witness the abundance of beauty and resources on this planet. As your beloved pet enjoys their dinner you prepare yourself a cup of tea made from cinnamon bark, white willow bark, licorice root, marshmallow root, fennel, ginger, and orange. The sweet, woodsy, and spicy tea is the perfect elixir to warm you as the weather changes. The water inside a delicate glass kettle with a long old-fashioned spout comes to a full boil. The simple ritual always warms your heart and makes you smile. The rolling bubbles in the kettle remind you of how quickly something can transform. You place the tea bag in the deep base of a ceramic mug so large. You often hold it with both hands. You raise the kettle and the water pours out of the slender, long spout in an elegant stream, splashing on the tea bag 
as water splashes on the earth, flowing out of the gutters around the cabin. Steam rises out of the mug, carrying fragrant notes of cinnamon and orange. You close your eyes and inhale, and as you do, you become more aware of the sounds of the crackling fire and falling rain. As you take in a deep, conscious breath, your slippered feet balance on the tiled floor, rooted like the trees, as your chest rises and falls. You imagine the trees breathing in the cool, rainy air along with you in a constant, symbiotic exchange that happens whether you think about it or not. When you savor moments like this, you are reminded of how connected everything is. How life goes on, whether you think about it or worry about it. This makes you feel less alone, vital, and part of something majestic and awe-inspiring. You open your eyes as your pet has finished their meal and waits for you to accompany them to the couch to enjoy the fire. You finish arranging the tea to your preferences and bring it with a small snack to the living room. The cabin is decorated in a way that most appeals to your aesthetic preferences. Throw blankets and soft rugs. Supply pops of your favorite colors and patterns. Old and modern elements come together to create a timeless, comforting home. And no matter where you go in the cabin, you are privy to another beautiful view of the surrounding forest. You settle in a corner of the couch and curl your legs beneath you as your pet hops onto a blanket next to you. You sip the tea, noticing every note that hits your tongue. Some notes linger longer than others, taking you through an array of memories and feelings with each flavor. The cinnamon conjures thoughts of baking and autumnal experiences. The orange brings brightness and memories of sunny days. The tea, like so many things you have experienced, is simple and complex at the same time. And you are the one who decides how deep you go into the exploration of these simple, pleasant sensations and experiences. Your attention drifts to a built-in wooden shelf photos of your favorite 
people and memories are showcased in an eclectic array of frames. In the center of the shelf is an 8 by 10 image of you in a silver frame. The photo reveals an expression on your face that captures the essence of who you are. It captures the version of you that you would most want to be remembered as. And no matter what is happening in your life, you can look at this image and be snapped out of a constant stream of thoughts, taken away from your concerns and reminded of who you truly are and who you wish to be. You rise and add another log to the fire. The rain falls steadily. A few pine branches brush against the cabin, caught up in the wind, lulling you into a state of deep peace and gratitude for this cozy home within the woods. You finish the last sip of tea and the sweet licorice and tangy orange oil linger on your tongue. You stand to stoke the glowing silver white and fiery orange embers. Sparks dance up the ivory metal flue. You inhale the smell of burnt wood, awash with comfort and warmth. Your pet stirs and rises to follow you as you walk across the main room to a set of spiral stairs that lead to the loft. Your pillowy slippers land on the stairs and you count as you go, feeling heavier and more tired with each step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Your pet follows patiently behind. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. You pause to look out onto the lofty space and the rainy landscape behind the windows. Whenever you ascend the stairs to the loft, you think of birds nesting on the branches and squirrels and raccoons tucking into hollows in trees. They do so at your eye level. You step into the loft and retreat down a narrow hall that leads to a cozy sleeping nook. A plush mattress is low to the floor positioned in the center of the A-frame ceiling that rises above the bed like a tent. Tiny golden globe lights 
wrap around the four-paned window that looks out onto the stream. On summer nights, you open the window to listen to the stream as it lulls you to sleep. Sometimes the song of a loon will reverberate through the woods as she announces to her mate that she is still here. But tonight, the soporific rain and soft wind offer the ideal soundtrack for sleeping and dreaming. You change into comfortable bedclothes as your pet settles at the end of the bed. You are so sleepy and in a trance-like state that makes you feel as if you are drifting through a dream before your head even sinks into the pillows. You turn off the lights and climb into the king-sized bed. Beneath the heavy, fluffy comforter, you feel protected and safe. You look up out the window over the bed to see the silhouette of pines and steady rain. So grateful to be dry and warm. So blessed to live in a time in history where cabins like this exist. Your eyes close and you ride on the sound waves of the rain as they usher you to sleep. You surrender with a soft transition, letting go to sleep or letting go to the words of the next story. Cottage by the Sea, a homecoming. There are places you may visit in life that leave you wanting more. There's never enough time to savor the sweet, simple pleasures of this special location. A mere thought of this place conjures daydreams and bestows rich memories. A craving always lingers for just one more sunset that casts the seashell speckled shoreline in pastel hues. One more walk on the powdery sand beneath the moon as the velvety sky hints at the promise of unveiling the mysteries of the universe. You may long for one more morning, awakening to the possibility of a perfect day that flows naturally and asks little of you beyond enjoying its relaxing offerings. The smell of the salt water air that carries a touch of sweetness sometimes enhanced by the tropical aroma of sunscreen, instantly activates memories of the best summer days. For children lucky enough to experience the colossal presence of the ocean, they are introduced early on to the feeling of being awestruck 
by the vast water that seems endless from the shoreline. The perpetual waves that crest and reveal their force absorb the smallness of worries and concerns that may have once felt monumental. Your feet step on the tawny sand of a quiet beach nestled within the outer banks of North Carolina. The string of narrow barrier islands emerged over centuries, shaped by the whims of wind, seawater, and time. The ocean carved the islands to become a natural barrier, guardians of the coast, protecting the mainland from the raw power of the Atlantic. Just as these islands safeguard the Carolina shores, they offer a refuge from the mainland where you find solace in their remoteness. Beyond the sandy shores, time-worn lighthouses stand tall and proud, beacons of light that have led weary souls to the safe sanctuary of the shore. Here, time seems to slow down as hours are marked by the placement of the sun you are free of electronic devices and the buzz of the modern world. Lost in the whispers of the outgoing tide, the glistening sand is abundant with tidal pools that your beloved dog explores, burying their muzzle into the still water that serves as a mirror for the puffy clouds moving in the sky. You comb the beach for shells as Amarita crabs scramble to bury themselves in the cool, wet sand. The waves retreat like lace-edged curtains, leaving behind a scattering a vibrant purple-bellied shells and tiny coquina clams that leave strands of bubbles as they slip beneath the shore. Though the size of a pinky nail, the mighty creatures filter the water as they feed and help clean the beach. You slosh through a tidal pool and the warm water splashes up to your knees. Your playful energy transfers to your dog as they sprint down the beach and circle back. The two of you are the only souls exploring the area on this late afternoon. A few beach cottages sit behind the rolling dunes and tall mint green beach grass. You sprint for a brief moment as well, feeling the strength of your leg muscles and the expansion of your lungs as they take in the briny air. It seems easier to breathe here Salt is like a tonic that dissolves all stress and anxiety that sometimes hinders your breathing. All tightness is gone, your heart is open, and your chest feels light. You extend your arms and stretch as the lightweight fabric of your shirt billows like a flag within the enchanting embrace of the outer banks. 
a mystical presence roams freely. You feel the beach vibrate and turn to look behind you to discover the wild horses of the Outer Banks. Descendants of Spanish Mustangs. The majestic horses gallop across the sandy shores. Prismatic droplets of seawater cause their manes to shimmer as they run freely along the edge of the ocean. These majestic creatures, untamed and resilient, symbolize the free spirit that permeates the very essence of this coastal getaway. The Mustangs are a living reminder of the island's unique past, believed to have arrived centuries ago when Spanish ships met their fate in treacherous waters. Surviving against all odds, the wild horses symbolize the resilience of the shape-shifting island. Your dog comes to your side as you watch the horses disappear beyond the rolling dunes cloaked in the rich orange-gold light of sunset. Observing them reminds you of the untamed aspects of your own spirit. Their freedom and power speak to your soul, awakening a feeling of interconnectedness and reminding you of your freedom to live beyond the normal routines of life. In this moment, you remember your inner wild. You continue down the beach as the sun slips away on the other side of the narrow island disappearing behind the brackish waters of the bay. Your dog smiles with a sand-dusted chin that glimmers in the golden hour light. Seagulls dart over the ocean in this prime time for feeding. Their energetic calls blend with the crashing surf as a nostalgic wave washes over you, conjuring memories of a time when all you needed was a colorful pail and shovel to create magical castles in the sand. The water weaves between your bare toes, the temperature of a lukewarm bath. Your canine pal follows, playing a game of tag with the ocean, not once letting it rise above their belly. Vibrant pastels burst across the sky the bands of color are soft and dreamlike in shades of yellow, pink, orange, and lilac. The faint silver glow of the crescent moon appears in a cotton candy pink stretch of sky and is almost otherworldly. And just when you think there has never been a more perfect day, a part of you knows there are many to be had during this season on the Outer Banks. No matter how hot the mainland becomes, the soothing ocean breeze 
keeps the island comfortable and balmy. You remove your clothes until you're just in a swimsuit to enjoy a quick twilight swim. The spontaneity of this decision makes you smile. This is a moment of fun for the mere sake of it. You feel alive. Every motion reminds you of your strength and inner resolve. Your peals of joyous laughter join the seagull's cries, the crashing surf, and the excited bark of your dog, who watches over you like a guardian as you float on your back. The salt water causes your skin to tingle in places and massages your neck and scalp. You raise your hands into the air just above the water's surface to find the air feels cooler than the sea. The waves support you as you drift and look to the sky as the first stars begin to appear. You focus on the beautiful lightness of being, riding the waves and feeling unbound to anything. You imagine floating from the ocean to the stars weightless and trusting in the way you trusted during the earliest moments of life. You come upright and choose a wave to ride to the shore, letting it propel you gracefully with more speed than you could manage on your own. Your knees brush against the sand as you arrive in shallow waters and your dog comes running to lick the salt water from your smiling face. You take it all in with deep appreciation. Every feeling inspires you to seek out more bliss and simple pleasures. This is the kind of day that deserves to be bottled at sea. Every memory encapsulated to be revisited at will. You stand and gather your clothes and walk down the beach as your dog leads you to your cottage. The sea breeze is quick to dry you off and rustles the beach grass along the dunes. The grass conceals picturesque cottages with weather-worn facades painted in neutral tones of ivory, gray, sand, and light blue. The paint so often peels and fades from the sun, salt, and weather that over time it's come to contribute a rustic charm to the beach. The silhouette of your cottage juts out behind a sand fence that helps maintain the dunes. Your dog runs down the pathway to the hose in a well-lived routine. 
You arrive and wash the sand from your feet and your pup's belly and legs. They shake off and coat you in droplets of water. You inhale the night air, made even more fragrant by the abundant ceramic pots surrounding your property that overflow with your favorite flowers. You walk on a mat that leads to the patio and an outdoor shower. Memories wash over you as you take in the feeling of returning to this home away from home. The windows look out onto the sea with varying designs from floor to ceiling to multi-paned fixtures, French doors, and a bow window in the living room. The house has as many windows as it can to allow you to take in the beauty of the island, to let the sun during the day and the celestial sky at night to shower the rooms in light. In a way, the beach cottage carries memories of every soul who has come here with you. If only in spirit, it evokes pleasant thoughts of those who you have loved the most. For this cottage has been a place for dreaming and reflection. Whenever you visit this barrier island, you feel safe enough to be swept away by your imagination and the infinite possibilities for your life that begin with a wish on a star or a blissful reverie by the sea. In this refuge, you have been free to develop and harvest your hopes and aspirations, letting feelings wash over you. Memories slip over you like the gentle waves of the Atlantic with reminders of dinners beneath the stars, of comforting hugs and intimate moments, of catching the sparkle in a loved one's eyes as they catch the glint of joy in yours. Your pup is the embodiment of this joy a furry being exploring the night with curiosity and enthusiasm. You feel your most authentic and grounded when the two of you are together. You traipse past the fire pit and head to the outdoor shower beneath the crescent moon that now beams brightly in a marine blue sky. Surrounded by gray wooden walls, you turn on the shower and step out of your swimsuit. The water is the ideal temperature as it washes away the dried salt crystals that remain from the ocean. The layer of salt on your lips is replaced with fresh water that tastes clean and slightly metallic. There's something about washing away the sand and remnants of a beach day that feels especially soothing 
as if the ocean was part of a spa experience that now continues in the outdoor shower, relaxing your muscles, purifying your lungs with salt water air. You simply feel good as the water cascades down your legs. You look beyond the shower head to the stars and moon, savoring the ocean side air as you inhale the fragrant notes of a botanical soap. Your lungs have the relaxed feeling that comes after being used to their utmost capacity, laughing with friends, or running full speed on the sand. Your skin is soft, exfoliated by sand and sea, and retains the warmth of the sun. The trickling shower water creates a new melody to join the sound of the ocean waves crashing with their timeless healing song. Your pup awaits outside the shower, their paws reaching beneath the door to remind you it's time to eat. You could stay beneath this cascading water forever, it seems. But you turn the handles off and dry yourself with a fluffy towel in a soothing color. You then put on a terry cloth robe cinched securely around your waist. You step onto the deck as ethereal steam clouds slither out of the shower. You inhale and deeply sigh as your dog leads you through the French doors into the kitchen. You prepare their food and refresh the water bowl, grabbing something healthy to enjoy yourself by the fire. Your feet slip into plush outdoor slippers and you step back outside, your satiated pup in tow. The deck is aglow with tiny fairy lights contained in oversized bulbs that dangle from the railing and are strung across the top of the deck. Three steps at the edge of the deck lead to an outdoor alcove with a brick fire pit surrounded by cozy chairs. You place your snack on a mosaic side table that captures the blues and greens of the Atlantic. You remove matches, a fire starter, kindling, and a log from a firewood chest as your pup settles on a lounger. The sweet scent of dry wood fills the air, mingling with a salt-kissed breeze. A match finds its purpose as you strike it against the box. The initial spark grows and the breeze assists in helping the wood catch quickly as flames erupt and lick the air. As the fire consumes the log, its amber tongues leap and dance casting playful shadows upon the dunes 
and flickering reflections upon your face. The crackles and pops fill the silent pauses between the hush of the waves. And just as you became lost in the visual of incoming waves, you are captivated by the mesmerizing dance of the flames. Water and fire, both hypnotic in their own way. Your pup begins to softly snore and the fire sounds lull you into a state of peaceful contemplation. You enjoy your evening treat. The sounds of consuming it awaken your dog briefly, but your pup succumbs to the tiredness brought on by a day of adventures. You reflect on the beauty you shared and the serenity of the moments unfolding before you. Your head rests on a pillow as you take in the night sky, watching orange sparks dance in their quest to join the stars. The air becomes cooler, but the fire creates enough warmth that you can comfortably stay outside and enjoy the night. You hum to yourself as a sudden song comes to mind, a lyric that captures your sentiment in this peaceful moment. You rise to stretch and look out at the ocean, a metallic dark blue with luminous white crests beneath a sky freckled with stars. You put out the fire as an incoming wave of sleepiness makes you long to go inside. The aged wooden planks of the deck creak beneath your feet, echoing the countless footsteps that have traversed the threshold. Your pup follows behind, their nails clicking on the wood. As you enter the cottage, the warmth of the interior hugs you within its timeless familiarity. The open floor plan reveals its charm with wooden floors that bear the imprints of memories etched over time with scuffs of sand. The living room expands into a dining nook and kitchen and boasts a high ceiling with exposed beams below skylights that reveal the rich canvas of the night sky. White wood paneled walls are covered with a collection of photographs in an eclectic array of frames adorned with seashells hand-painted and created from driftwood. The images capture moments spent on the beach, from your earliest smiles as an infant to the present day. The photographs depict a life well lived and an opening on the wall leaves room for more photos to be added. 
a myriad of swimwear styles and ages are frozen in time, captured in each frame to represent a special chapter in your journey. From the adorable to the awkward moments, you find a way to love and appreciate every version of you that has led you here, always deserving of love, kindness, and joy. You know this now, looking back. You set forth the intention to remember this and cultivate a life that honors all you are worthy of. The cottage's history permeates the air, mingling with the aroma of dried eucalyptus and the sweet smell of dog-eared beech reeds that grace the built-in shelves that also contain board games, puzzles, and journals. Each item carefully chosen and arranged represents the literary nourishment and shared activities that have shaped who you are and helped your mind grow. You peer out the French doors as the ocean continues its timeless dance with the moon's glow lending a metallic sheen to the crests of the waves. You get caught up and memories of moonlit walks and late night adventures. In moments of splashing through the tide and remembering parts of yourself sometimes forgotten but imperative to remember. You are the embodiment of beautiful moments that have unfolded on these shores. The solitude of the night brings a profound peace as you cast your gaze upon the stars. Time loses its linear nature and you waft from one calming thought to the next. You close the French doors as you deeply inhale and say your silent thanks, bidding good night to the moon and stars, the beach and the ocean. You wander down the wide hallway as cool air circulates with the help of ceiling fans. Your loyal companion follows you and finds her spot beside your bed, ready to drift off to sleep. Adorned with seashells and seahorses, and a blend of neutral beach tones. The room exudes a serene ambiance. At bedtime, the bedding takes on the dark blue cast of night. And come morning, it will reflect the brilliant glow of a rising sun over the Atlantic. You remove your slippers and feel the cool wooden floor beneath your bare feet. You relish the room's briskness as you surrender to the weariness 
that settles within you. The white four-poster bed faces windows that look out on the sea. You peel back the sateen duvet and slide between the crisp cotton sheets. The gentle whispers of the ocean continue their soothing lullaby and can even be heard through the closed windows. You look to your pet, forever your guardian. Your eyes become heavy and you surrender the weight of your head into the pillows. The mattress and pillows form around the nooks and crannies of your body to offer total comfort and support. Each breath becomes a gateway to deeper relaxation as you hover above the edge of slumber. The ocean's music intertwines with your dreams, blending reality and the ethereal world of your imagination that is always inspired by this haven in the outer banks. Curled up inside the cozy beach cottage, your place for restoration and self-care. You brim with gratitude. And this warm wave of appreciation carries you to sleep. Beach experiences woven through the tapestry of your life bring you peace. The sand between your toes, the sound of crashing waves, and the timeless essence of the beach flicker across the screens of your closed eyelids, painting a world so lovely it seems unreal. As you succumb to the tranquility, a bridge appears in your mind's eye, stretching across a saltwater marsh beneath the moon's gentle gaze. It beckons you towards the other side where sleep awaits with a promise of more dreams to unfold as your body recovers and your subconscious mind becomes the maestro. You softly sigh and release any remaining tensions expressing gratitude for the enduring presence, the moon, the stars, the beach, and the ocean. You whisper, thank you. You may choose to ride this wave of gratitude to sleep or let it carry you to the next story. The Firefly Dance at the Lake Chalet. At least not to your knowledge. There has never been a town so enthusiastic and reverent when it comes to the return of the fireflies each year. Perhaps because in most places, 
It seems to be a mystery when the fireflies will awaken from their underground dwellings and join life above the forest floor. They revel in the dampness and warmth of late spring, lighting up the sky after the earth has thawed. The townspeople of Lake Reverie wager bets around when the neon yellow flickers of the beloved beings will illuminate the forests, meadows, and lakes. Whoever is correct becomes the honorary marshal of the firefly parade that spontaneously forms to commence a week of celebrations that correlate with their return. Picnics, barbecues, meditations, and even a firefly dance take place during this time. The week always leaves room for contemplative nights before the sleepy town becomes a popular summer destination and the roads swell with overpacked vehicles and families. There are times you walk on the narrow path that winds through the woods to Martha and Ike's general store and feel as though you are revisiting a childhood dream. You walk alone, listening intently to songs of birds that flutter about in the early evening light. You appreciate the fact that the days are longer as sunset inches past nine o'clock. You encounter young animals of the forest around every bend on your route. You feel a sense of trust with them as you respectfully keep your distance and observe baby bunnies hopping along the edge of the path. A red-backed salamander perches on the roots of a white pine tree. Its vibrant color contrasts the pitch dappled pine cones and freshly fallen needles that carpet the forest floor. You take in a deep breath. The minty evergreen perfume and sweet smells of the damp earth marry a hint of baked goods that wafts on a soft breeze. One of two things always alerts you to the proximity of the general store. The redolent yeasty aroma of Martha and Ike's baked delights are the familiar squeaks and slams of the wooden screen door as it opens and closes with customers during the busier seasons. Either one of these experiences comforts you and you feel your muscles relax and your shoulders lower. You feel your jaw unclench and your eyes lighten. It feels like visiting the loving grandparents depicted in early sitcoms or children's storybooks. In a time and place where kindness is valued, where mishaps were trivial and easily overcome with the support of a community. When you wander through this town, you always feel the sense of community that is vital to thriving. 
And yet at the same time, your lake chalet offers privacy for moments of introspection and learning more about yourself. And for days when you just need to get cozy and forget the world. As your feet land on the crunchy forest floor, you connect with the earth and feel grounded, balanced, harmoniously belonging to the moment and letting it lead you without expectations or even a plan. When you come upon the general store, you smile as you always do, anticipating the kind sparkling eyes and warm embraces of Martha and Ike. And while they've run the shop out of a rustic cabin for decades, they are always up to something new and creative. Whether trying a new recipe, rearranging the shop, or celebrating the latest trends in recreation and arts and crafts. Martha always declares, Variety is the spice of life, my dear. You ascend the creaking steps and open the screen door to the general store. The sweet maple smell of old wood travels in the air, welcoming you. Always curious about what music will be playing, This week's selections have all been French covers of pop songs, given a bossa nova beat. Over the winter, Martha revisited the French language, something she dabbled in during college, having never learned much beyond the basics in order to help serve guests from Quebec. You also notice the vast array of firefly merchandise from mason jars containing yellow fairy lights to hand-painted canvas bags depicting fireflies lighting up the lake and forest. The baked goods that you smelled on your walk are decorated with chartreuse sprinkles and encouraging messages like shine your light scrawled across them in vibrant yellow icing. Ike is tinkering with a display case he built to house a new shipment of sunscreen and summer essentials. Martha sits behind the cash register perusing a French fashion magazine. Bonjour, ami. Hello, friend, she says when she sees you. She steps out from behind the counter to welcome you with a hug. It's been some time since your last visit to the chalet, but it always feels like you just saw one another whenever you reconnect. How have you been, sweetheart? She tells Ike to go get your firefly bag. A custom gift you ordered for yourself to celebrate your first time being here for some of the festivities. Ike says hello before disappearing into the storage closet where all the gift bags were assembled with the help of their grandkids in the weeks leading up to May. The fireflies arrived a few nights ago and given her history of great hunches, 
It's no surprise Martha guessed their arrival to the day and was the parade marshal. She excitedly fills you in and then asks, what's new with you? It's comforting to confide in her. Being in her presence inspires a deep sense of resilience and understanding that no matter what happens in life, joy may be found. She's living proof of this. Martha teems with empathy that validates your feelings in the way her eyes soften and her head tilts with intrigue. Ike comes out with your bag and you smile to discover your lake chalet has been painted on the front canvas in the style of Van Gogh. The whimsical swirls and lines capture the silky lake, dashing fireflies, and a silhouette in the likeness of you and your pet by a fire pit. Martha happily lets you know a few surprises have been thrown in for you to enjoy when you get home. Ike explains the town used to only have an annual firefly dance to celebrate the season. But with each new year, the hoopla has grown and grown. Martha's eyes light up as she mentions how she fell in love with Ike on the night of a firefly dance that they both missed due to work and family obligations when they were just teens. Exhausted at the end of a long day, they met for a walk along the lakeshore just as the last song of the dance played from the gazebo. The music of a live band traveled across the water as they stood together in the moonlight. And then, out of nowhere, all the fireflies congregated around them on the pebbled beach. Martha asked Ike to dance. He was always a touch shyer than she was back then. And he promised that if she ever were to consider spending her life with him, they would dance together every day. Their faces are both lost in this pleasant memory. Another time, another life. You ask if I kept his promise, and Martha chuckles and says, Oh yeah, he did. There were times I was so livid at that man that we didn't speak for days. But we still danced, even on the days we could only muster a gentle sway or finger dance. We made it happen. Ike pipes in that the fireflies light up the sky in their mating dance. So it was only natural to fall in love during their return. A familiar song begins to play in French, something you've heard dozens of times. The tempo slowed down and with a beat that swings. Ike looks at you and says, don't mind us kid. And they dance. An irregular visitor to the general store has seen them dance at least once before. And you watch them for a moment, warmed to the core by their authentic connection. There may have been times in life 
the cynical voice in your head would find this experience to be maudlin or over the top. But given the harshness of recent years, every drop of sweetness becomes precious. The last sunlight of the day filters through the canopy of evergreens surrounding the shop and pours through the old windows of the store like a golden spotlight on Martha and Ike. The ethereal light always seems to find them. It entrances you and you imagine them so many decades ago enjoying new love as they danced with the fireflies. They continue to sway as you say goodbye and slip out through the screen door, careful to close it behind you. You walk back through the woods as creatures of the day enjoy their last adventures before sheltering in their dens and nests for the night. You return to your chalet just in time to watch the sunset over the lake. Every time you watch the fiery sunrise above or disappear behind Lake Reverie, you feel a deep desire to seek out more sunrises and sunsets. It becomes too easy to miss them when life is busy. You stand on the shore, removing your shoes and placing your feet on the coarse sand and cool pebbles the water this time of year is a toe-numbing reminder of the glaciers that once carved out and formed the lake. Yet you enjoy the sense of aliveness the water brings as gentle waves lap over your feet. You are deeply grateful that the days will only get warmer going forward. As the sun disappears, the first fireflies flicker between tall blades of grass and velvety brown cattails along the shore. The chirps of crickets accompany you as you walk barefoot up the grassy hill to your chalet. You set the firefly bag on an Adirondack chair and gather kindling and a few dry logs from the woodshed to start a fire. All around the lake, longtime residents gather and start fires for this night of introspection and firefly gandering. The kindling starts to burn, and the logs soon catch, crackling and popping as orange sparks fly toward the sunset skies. You walk to the chalet, climbing the steps to the deck to let out your pet to enjoy the night with you. Your furry companion greets you with a high-pitched sound and then races down the steps to sniff the grass. You return to the fire, lifting the firefly bag to sit in the chair, 
your pet joins you in the other chair. Curling up comfortably as the amber firelight reflects in their saucer eyes. You reach your hands into the canvas bag to pull out your favorite baked treat with an icing message written in cursive by Martha. It's personalized with your name and reads, Light up the world. You place it on a glass side table and continue to explore the contents of the bag. You find a piece of luxurious stationery folded perfectly into a square with a metallic gold firefly sticker holding it closed. You open it in the light of the fire and read a letter from the town that begins, Dear friend, the more you shine your light, the more you inspire others to do the same. Fireflies remind us that even the smallest light shines brightly in the dark of night. Below the message is a poem by Robert Frost called Fireflies in the Garden. Here come real stars to fill the upper skies. And here on earth come emulating flies that though they never equal stars in size and they were never really stars at heart. Achieve at times a very star-like start. Only, of course, they can't sustain the part. You smile and sit back to watch the fireflies flying overhead while enjoying your treat made by Martha. Dashes of light weave like neon ribbons as they flicker their intentions and messages in the blue hues of twilight. Laughter and murmurs carry across the lake accented by croaking frogs and the persistent songs of crickets and crackles and pops of the fire. And you become lost in the hypnotic motion of sparks flying towards the sky and fireflies flying towards one another against the backdrop of an inky blue sky twinkling with stars. There are moments when you cannot tell if there are more stars or fireflies, but every flicker of light becomes more beautiful and comforting the darker the sky becomes. The temperature dips and the cool air creates a lovely contrast with the heat of the fire. You notice your pet looking up at the fireflies in awe as well. Your dear companion's eyes sparkle. With a sense of wonder and appreciation, you recognize that all life sparkles in its own way. Fireflies sparkle effortlessly, never dimming their lights for the sake of those who dwell in the dark. 
and you realize the power in shining your light. No matter what may try to interfere or dim it, Martha knows this well, for she has lived a long life, and each new year brings more opportunities to be true to yourself and light up the dark. The fireflies move gracefully through the sky, each one floating with ease. In their own way, they experience the elation that comes when the sharpness of winter is replaced with the warmth of summer, their season to shine. You watch the fireflies hover over the placid blue lake as the moon rises in the sky Overcome by a wave of deep reverence and peace. Like the crystalline water, your mind becomes clear and reflective. So connected with everything around you, you feel your life force and internal power as you take in a deep breath. Sometimes it feels as if nature is the only thing that gives you total permission to simply be. And while the crickets and frogs continue to sing out, the logs burn into magenta embers. Everyone else on the lake has retreated to their chalets and cottages after a night of celebrating the fireflies. You rise and bring a watering can to the fire pit, slowly pouring water on it to put out the embers. The water transforms into steam with a soothing sizzle that brings a finality to the night. Your pet waits for you to guide them home, yawning and fighting to keep their eyes open. Within minutes you are in your room, your pet already settled at the end of the bed. You open the firefly bag to discover another gift, a mason jar full of fairy lights. You turn it on and place it on the bedstand. Once changed into pajamas, you crawl into bed as a breeze off the lake blows through the screen windows. And through the skylight, Above the bed, you can see the stars and a few fireflies. You drift between worlds, fireflies dancing along with you as you cherish the soothing space between wakefulness and sleep. You are in a dreamy haze of contentment. Your body sways in an ethereal dance, moving with the same freedom 
of the fireflies, the campfire sparks, and the ripples on the lake. The fluidity of the moment makes you feel more in love with your body and the sensations of being alive than you have felt in a while. Every breath comes and goes with ease, relieving you of earthly concerns as you venture into your dreamscape. Floating, drifting, and letting go. You inhale the fresh Vermont night air. For the last time, you will recall slipping into a deep sleep or gliding into the next adventure. The choice is yours. Cabin in the Smoky Mountains. You walk without a purpose or destination. Swept away by a beautiful forest trail in the Smoky Mountains. The native Cherokee people named the region Shakanaje, or the place of blue smoke. On most days, a dreamy white-blue mist slithers between the seemingly endless mountains that grace the region. Even as you walk on this tepid summer day, the ethereal silvery blue haze wraps around the trail, offering you company and also intrigue as you explore. When the terpenes of the native flora meet the ultraviolet rays of the stratosphere, the mist forms as moisture condenses and scatters wavelengths of light in the blue-violet spectrum. But one need not understand the phenomena to enjoy how the blue mist blends the forests and mountains with a vibrant blue sky with as much artistic grace as a watercolor brushstroke across a canvas. Your perceptions are changed by the mist, objects in the distance become like a mirage and everything feels farther away than it truly is. There is a heavenly quality to the mountain peaks and summits that seem to touch the celestial expanse of cornflower blue. A few puffy clouds dare to lower and hover above and around the mountain peaks where earth and sky convene. Brittle twigs and dried leaves snap and crinkle beneath your feet. And as you close your eyes and deeply inhale, you can feel the tiny cool molecules of mist as they warm in your nose and land on your sun-kissed skin. You revel in the contrast between the crunchy ground and the misty veil that travels on a late afternoon breeze. It creates a balance that you continue to discover as you walk deeper on the trail. You hear the gentle rush of a waterfall announcing its presence 
before its reveal. Find a canopy of leaves that rustle overhead. Tall, narrow, and forceful. The water flows onto moss-covered stones, creating a prismatic spray that birds flutter through. Hundreds of tiny rainbows appear in the mist, beckoning you to come closer. A frog leaps with speed and grace across glistening stones in the stream beneath the cascade. You balance, moving slowly from one stepping stone to the next. A soft breeze carries the waterfall mist as it lands on your face and lips. Simultaneously, the hot sun filters through the trees and cloaks you in opulent light. The delicate balance meets you again. Of golden sunshine and cool white mist. Just enough of each to enhance one another. The coolness is made better and appreciated when the sun reaches your forehead. And yet the mist would be too cool without the warm afternoon light. You inhale deeply savoring the smell of pine. You remove sandals from your feet and balance them on your index finger as you step atop the moss-carpeted stones. The moss offers traction as you balance. The arches of your feet Curl perfectly around the cool stones, finding your grip. Memories of being a child, playfully exploring in water, come to mind. You smile as you get closer to the waterfall. A kind of natural phenomenon that enlivens a child's dreams and is now yours to explore. You walk beneath the waterfall mist and get closer until the water cascades freely down your forehead and cheeks. You lean your head back to feel it massage your scalp and taste the cool metallic water on your lips. The blue haze of the Smokies blends with the prismatic waterfall mist in a vision you thought only possible in a dream. You leave the waterfall for a sunny patch on a rock where you lay back and tilt your head toward the sky. The water quickly evaporates and you relish the radiating warmth from the stone as you sunbathe in the final hour before sunset. You hear a splash in the stream and turn your attention to its source. A school of trout breaches the water's surface. Their silvery blue, green, and pearly pink markings reflect the light. Their lustrous
lustrous bodies twinkle like gemstones as they continue to jump just above the silvery blue flowing water. You hear a group of young children exploring down the stream. Their voices carry introspective and serious as they study the stream for signs of life. Those who grow up in the mountains have a great connection to the land and the mystical beauty that may be found around every bend. There is a heightened awareness of nature and its force as it is revered and understood. Their conversation turns into laughter, playful and innocent, and causes you to smile. For a curious child, every walk is a journey of discovery. No detail missed as they develop their understanding of the world. This afternoon brings a new opportunity for you to do the same. You slowly rise and stretch, ready to continue on the winding path that meanders through the vibrant wilderness of the Smokies to your cabin. A kaleidoscope of indigenous wildflowers scatter along the path. Each bloom adds a splash of color to the lush green landscape. As you stroll along, you spot the delicate blossoms of the flame azalea. Their fiery orange and red petals dancing in the gentle breeze. Nearby, the pink lady slipper peeks out from beneath the forest floor, showcasing its elegant pink and white pouch-like blossoms. Further along the path, you encounter the vibrant hues of the purple-fringed orchid. Its intricate blooms boast deep purple petals, fringe-like in shape. As you continue your journey, the scent of wildflowers grows stronger, guiding you toward the yellow trillium. This elegant flower graces the forest floor with its three large yellow petals, like small pops of sunshine scattered throughout the deep greens. You need not know the name or history of the flowers to appreciate the creativity of nature and the captivating embellishments and vivacity of each wildflower. Your eyes catch sight of the delicate blooms of the mountain laurel a true emblem of the Smoky Mountains. Its clusters of pink and white blossoms create a breathtaking spectacle. And for a moment you fantasize about floating atop the flowers like a bee, landing on their plush comfort air face against their silky petals as you nestle into a rainbow bed of summer blossoms. 
The wild flower path leads you to a summit where the Smokies roll like waves of the Atlantic. The vista is vast and the mountains seemingly go on forever as the mist rolls beneath the mountain peaks. You observe a black bear and her cub foraging a few hundred meters below. They consume plump blackberries from bushes. You settle on the earth, feeling grounded in the beauty around you. There is a peace within your lungs and heart center a lightness that makes you aware of the heaviness you didn't know was there before. Sometimes it's easy to forget what freedom feels like. Freedom from anxiety, from tasks and to-do lists and from too much information. In the mountains, information flows to you in the present moment. You're unconcerned with anything happening anywhere but right here, right now. You rise and walk as the sun lowers behind a mountain range in the west. The warm, saturated, orange hues contrast the cool navy blue silhouette of the majestic peaks. Waves of salmon, gold, Tangerine and magenta grace the sky as the sun descends. The world around you is bathed in a warm, ethereal glow as long shadows of evergreen trees crawl across the summit. The air grows cooler. A sense of peace settles within your soul. Lost in the grandeur of the moment, you forget about time. In the words of Tennessee native Dolly Parton, speak to you in the song she penned about her life in a smoky mountain home. Her lyrics express, in my Tennessee mountain home, life is as peaceful as a baby's sigh. In my Tennessee mountain home, crickets sing in the fields nearby. The vibrant bands of color in the sky give way to a blanket of twinkling stars as the sky darkens into a velvety shade of midnight blue. Not far from the cabin, you make your way down a mulch-covered path you encounter a mesmerizing display of fireflies casting the darkness with their ethereal dance of light as they send mating signals to one another. 
over 19 different varieties of fireflies are known to inhabit the Smokies, each one lending a different hue of light and pattern. Their luminous performance guides you down the path, walking along the stream that leads to your cabin. The songs of crickets and frogs are soon joined by the laughter and conversation of friends and family of all ages gathered around a fire beyond the stream. You do not see them but their sound carries softly on the breeze. The haunting melody of a dulcimer accompanies the gathering. An instrument named for its sweet sound. Music has weaved its way through the Smokies for centuries. With stories told in verses, praising the mountains and pontificating on life. And while you enjoy solitude, these sounds make you feel connected and part of something bigger. You follow the golden glow of your cabin, the warm light pouring through an opening on the trail. The night sky becomes a richer shade of blue with a hint of purple as a nearly full moon rises above the mountain peaks. Your log cabin awaits in the center of a clearing. A picturesque view of the storied home nestled among piles of cut wood, a garden of herbs and vegetables, and a carpet of wildflowers. Fireflies dart around the cabin their multitude as great as the multitude of stars in the sky. The cabin appears like the kind of home spoken of in storybooks. A timeless sense of peace and comfort and a pioneer spirit permeates the region. It's easy to imagine the first inhabitants of this cabin, collecting and preparing logs that would form protective walls of a beloved home. The cabin has been updated over decades, modernized to add comfort, but it still retains a deep sense of history and folksiness. A doe sips from the stream that winds around the property. Your attention turns to a hot tub that overlooks the blue peaks as the mist continues to roll in. You approach the hot tub, pulling back the cover as steam rises into the cool night. You prepare yourself, and then with a sigh of contentment, you slip into the welcoming embrace of the hot tub, immersing yourself 
in warm, bubbling waters. The pulsing water gets deep into your tired muscles that carry memories of your hike with a soft, delicate burn. You rest your head on the pillowed edge that offers the density of a marshmallow the soothing hot water envelops your tired muscles, melting away any traces of tension or fatigue. The steam condenses on your face, and again you revel in the contrast between the hot water and cool air. You gaze up at the glittering night sky, admiring the constellations and feeling profoundly connected to the world around you. You float as the jets cause your body to undulate dipping under the steamy water and then hovering above the surface to be kissed by the night breeze. You reap the benefits of surrendering to everything in this moment. Not a concern to weigh you down. The symphony of night creatures of the Smokies. The distant melody of the dulcimer. And the relaxed sigh you let out. Create a soundtrack of peace. As the heat eventually becomes too much. You rise out of the tub and step onto a stone path that leads to an outdoor shower. A tiny toad rests atop the wooden beams that form the walls around the shower and blinks at you. You smile turning on the water and rinsing away the day. For many years, the cabin lacked indoor plumbing. But now the outdoor shower exists as a luxury. A way to spend more time in nature and bathe beneath the stars. The gentle rush of warm water cascades down upon you, and you reach for a bar of mountain soap. Crafted with care, using local flowers and essential oils, its scent evoking the essence of a summer's hike through the Smokies. The soap's lather gently soothes your skin, leaving behind a subtle fragrance that pleases you. You feel clean, refreshed, restored and ready to unwind in the cabin. You turn off the shower and remove a soft towel from a cedar chest. As the fragrant woody notes mingle in the steam, 
You nuzzle your face into the plush towel. Wipe away the water and wrap yourself tightly. You follow the short path from the shower to the cabin as smooth stones massage your bare feet. Something about the beautiful Smokies conjures a deep desire to be barefoot and connect it to the sensuous dewy grass, the cool earth, and the pristine water in streams and creeks. The mountain air fills your lungs as you ascend the smooth wooden steps into the home. You feel more and more tired as your body becomes heavier with each step. You walk into the cabin, welcomed by a wave of rustic charm. The sweet smell of pine and old books and warm, dry air. Sconces illuminate the coppery walls with soft, golden light. Black and white photographs capturing the timeless beauty of the Smoky Mountains hang on the walls in frames made of whittled wood. Each photo tells a story of bygone eras, of explorers and musicians, and nature enthusiasts who got lost on wildflower paths, winding trails, and beneath waterfalls. The photos conjure warm memories of your day and offer a deep sense of connection to those who experienced the Smokies before you. The cabin has an open concept layout that has been expanded throughout time for what was once a two-room home. The living room is decorated with cozy furnishings and vibrant jewel-toned rugs, throws, and pillows. A wood stove divides the space between the dining room, kitchen, and living room. Bouquets of wildflowers, and antique ceramic water pitchers sit atop a farmhouse style dining table made of reclaimed wood. And on a credenza, passed down through generations. A balance of elegance and rustic charm, of modern comforts and beloved antiques may be found in every room. You continue to your bedroom a modest suite that overlooks the stream and forest. 
you change into airy cotton pajamas. Fairy lights dangle around sliding doors that open onto a private patio. Cotton curtains billow on the mountain air that always helps you fall into the deepest of sleep. And so you keep the windows open as fireflies dance on the other sides of the screen. And the cool night air invites you to indulge in lighting a fire in the stone hearth in the bedroom. The fire is made for the coziest of winter nights in the Smokies. It lends a decadence on cool summer nights like this. You strike a match and carefully light a few pieces of kindling. Flames erupt and consume a log you place atop them. A breeze blows through the room, fanning the flames. The mountain air carries a hint of pine and earth, mingling with the smell of the fire. You step on a plush area rug that leads to a four-poster log bed. Its sturdy yet elegant frame is an example of craftsmanship found within the Smokies through generations of artisans. You sink into the softness of the mattress that is firm enough to support your neck and spine. You pull the crisp sheets to your chin and get cozy. The flames dance and cast shadows on the room with a hypnotic pattern. As your eyes flutter, hanging on to the last sumptuous moments of the day. But soon your eyes become so heavy that they close. Images drift across your closed eyelids as they become like movie screens. Displaying fireflies dancing in the woods, leading you to a waterfall. Moonbeams refract light in the mist as moonbows erupt, and the blue smoke rolls through the trail, enveloping the mountain peak and slithering around your rustic cabin. You drift between places, real and imagined, on the cusp of sleep. Floating on the surface of sleep, you slowly and gracefully give in to the tug of slumber. The crackling fire and delicate breeze bring 
balance and comfort and make this moment as sacred as a sigh at the end of the day. You flow into your dreaming life with the ease of the blue mist, weaving through stories and escapes that you deserve as your body repairs itself in sleep, carrying with you the beauty, the resilience, and the magic of the Smoky Mountains, opening yourself to the possibilities in the dreams to come as you fall asleep, or continuing on an imaginative escape in the next story. Rainy Night at the Willow Cottage the weeping willow trees circle a glassy pond in the heart of the woods. Beyond the mystical forest of oak trees dripping in Spanish moss and weeping willows, estuaries lead modest wooden vessels to the sea. A quaint centuries-old cottage with a thatched roof is nestled just beyond the pond, close enough for its reflection to appear on the silky water. When the wind picks up, the willows brush against the roof with timeless whispers. Not far from the cottage, you walk on the mossy forest floor as white gold sunlight slips through the dancing green tresses of the willow trees. It's hard to resist weaving the willows between your fingers. As you explore the sensation of the tiny waxy leaves against the inner webs of your fingers. Purple and bright pink wildflowers sprout from the rich earth among scarlet mushrooms with white spots that feel right out of a fairy tale. You feel the sun on your face as you watch the long graceful shadows of willows ebbing and flowing across the the dark green forest floor. The botanical notes of the wildflowers and damp earth smell like good memories of curious days spent exploring nature at a time when getting your hands covered with dirt was worth every minute of newfound discoveries. A loveliness of ladybugs crawls up the ridged gray bark of a thick willow tree trunk. You place your hand on the bark, enjoying these tactile moments of the moss beneath your bare feet and the coarse bark against your palm. You feel grounded and rooted. Your heartbeat slows, adapting to the languid tempo of the forest. You close your eyes and inhale the tepid air, detecting the slightest hint of the sweet salty waters of the estuaries beyond the forest. When you open your eyes, the sunlight takes on an ethereal glow, capturing a soft, sparkling mist 
that becomes iridescent in its path. The birds sing out, praising the day while they can, as everything in the forest seems to anticipate a rainstorm on the way. You walk towards a stream surrounded by shimmering blue-gray and charcoal-hued stones smoothed by time and the babbling water. The silvery blue stream bubbles beneath the willows surrounded by more strawberry red white spotted mushrooms. You appreciate how your overthinking habit seems to stop during this walk. You don't rely on language to understand the name of everything around you, and the chatter of your mind becomes silent to make room for the mellifluous sound of the stream, the songs of the birds, and the persistent swoosh of the willows. The willows have symbolized flexibility, grace, and beauty throughout thousands of years, while also remaining firmly rooted and balanced. You feel the sense of strength in your bones with each step, and the flexibility of your muscles and mind as you hop along the edge of the stream. The forest moss cushions each step, like landing on an earth cloud. You explore these feelings of weightlessness as you take a gander around the tranquil pond, caught up in the alluring beauty of the clearing. The purity of nature found in the willows and the pond in this landscape of pastels and rich green hues evoke the settings that once inspired the impressionist touch of Monet's paintbrush. The willow trees sway gently in the breeze, their long tendrils caressing the still water with a loving touch as if to remind the pond that everything is connected. The reflections on the pond double the beauty of the world around it. This breathtaking mirror captures the centuries-old cabin on the other side of the pond. Willows line the pond's perimeter and create dancing reflections that shimmy like emerald fringe skirts of vaudeville dancers. For a moment, you consider how often humankind seeks to create the beauty of nature with art. Mesmerized by the peaceful scenery, you are drawn to two butterflies that land on cattails along the pond's edge. They take off in a harmonious dance. Their bright blue wings fluttering through tall ribbons of mint green grass. The sun filters through incoming clouds, illuminating the shimmer in their delicate butterfly wings. You look to the sky, sensing a change as the first puffy white clouds roll in, casting shadows on the pond. As you near the water, you notice dragonflies that hover above its tranquil surface, their wings twinkling like jewels. You follow their hypnotic movements, 
enchanted by their graceful flight as they glide effortlessly in the gentle breeze. They skirt across the water, creating ripples. Each one seems to be a different shade, from vivid cobalt blue to deep amethyst. And you can't help but marvel at their radiant beauty. In this moment of stillness within, you miss no detail. Suddenly a cool change in the air rushes in with a gust. You see dusty purple and dark gray clouds in the distance where a storm brews. The wind whistles through the willows, the branches rustling and swaying with a new sense of urgency, communicating to all living beings in the forest to seek shelter. The clouds gather their colors fading into shades of somber gray. And the winds stop for but a second. There is a calm before the storm. And then the first fat raindrops begin to fall. You are close to the cottage and its comforts. So you take your time. You feel strongly connected to your aliveness with each patter of cool rain that lands on your lips, collarbones, and hands. A few beams of sunlight still filter through the first storm clouds to arrive. A distant low rumble of thunder travels through the damp air. The winds increase and you stretch your arms out, feeling the force of the breeze as you smile. You become silly and dance in the rain and relish the electrifying energy that bring a heightened sense of being connected to the moment. As the rain streams down your temples and cheeks, you take in a deep breath and inhale its clean perfume that saturates the woods. As the winds intensify, you draw closer to the centuries-old stone cottage Ivy cascades down around the front door. Sky blue shutters surround the multi-paned windows with ivory sashes. Flower boxes hang from the window sills, overflowing with fuchsia petunias. Every raindrop creates a different tone as it patters on the foliage around the cottage. The stones of the quaint dwelling have been worn by time, wind, and weather. Enduring many storms and offering protection and a cozy haven for legions of souls before you. You ascend the stone steps to the front door as the rain drips down the gutter and begins to pool and form a tiny pond. The wind howls through the trees and the rain drums against the thatched roof with a steady rhythm. The heavy periwinkle blue front door creaks open into the dim foyer. 
you gather a match from a credenza and light a tapered candle nestled in an old brass holder. The sulfur smell of the match cuts through the musk of age and the scent of wood and stone that permeates the cottage. The cave-like walls are thick and sturdy. The furniture is sparse, yet elegant, as if chosen with care to match the rustic charm of the cottage. Dark brown exposed wooden beams stretch across the open concept space draped in boughs of dried lavender and baby's breath. You use the candlelight to guide you to the fireplace, which is already prepared with kindling and splintered dry logs. You ignite crumpled newspaper surrounding the kindling and it catches immediately pouring amber light into the main room. You stoke the fire a few times as it engulfs the log and feel the raindrops on your face evaporate in the heat. You walk to a bow window that overflows with throw pillows in an array of soothing colors and lush fabrics. You hug one of the pillows against your chest, gazing out as the storm intensifies. Flashes of lightning illuminate the horizon and purple-black underbellies of storm clouds. Time seems to have shifted from early day to late night with the arrival of dark storm clouds. A wave of sleepiness washes over you. The rain falls in torrents, the drops pattering against the ground and thatched roof like a million tiny drums. Yet even amidst the storm's wrath, there is still a kind of beauty to be found. The willows bow in reverence to the storm, showing their flexibility and endurance as they yield in a dramatic ballet. The rain becomes a soothing lullaby that serenades your soul with a timeless soundtrack that has always helped foster sleep and encourage the coziest of moments when safe inside. Awe inspired by the storm's beautiful fury, you take a deep breath inhaling the scent of rain and burning wood that fills the cottage. You feel safe, sheltered, and relieved to have permission from nature to hunker down and relax. On stormy days like this, You have every reason to simply unwind and enjoy the comforts of home. And beyond this welcome time to get cozy, you realize that even in the darkest of storms, there is always a glimmer of hope, a chance for renewal in this welcome break, 
One of your favorite books rests on the windowsill. Its pages worn and dog-eared from many revisits to this beloved prose. You pick it up, savoring the sweet smell of the soft aged pages. The sounds of the rain and fire create the perfect ambiance to lull you into a sense of peace and contentment. The patter of raindrops on the thatched roof is like a gentle comforting melody that matches the cadence of the words that you read quietly. The fire's warmth seeps into your bones, chasing away the chill of the damp air. You feel cocooned indoors, drawn to the softness of the moment. The way the flames add a golden glow to the room as the world outside becomes darker and darker. The soft cushion beneath you welcomes your tired body as you settle into your reading nook. gentle streams of rainwater as they cascade over the windows and stream into the flower boxes. You focus on the softness of your breath that takes on the rhythm of this slow, delicate moment. The storm persists, its drumming rhythm louder and more insistent as the occasional rumble of thunder reverberates through the woods and travels across the pond. You peer out to watch the willows weighed down by the rain as they come closer to their roots. Rain splatters on the pond. The once glassy surface now overcome by ripples and swirls. You drift between the story in your hand the rain outside and the soundtrack that accompanies it. Do you feel a deep sense of calm lost in the pages traveling between worlds on the wings of your imagination? The fire and rain simply enhance the timeless experience of leisurely reading in a cozy nook on a stormy day. As the night grows deeper and weariness tugs at your eyelids, the words on the page begin to blear like the rain streaming down the old windows. The crackling fire and the rhythmic patter of rain have cast a spell on you, preparing you for slumber. 
slowly rise from the window seat, feeling a pleasant heaviness settle in your limbs. With a flickering candle in hand, you navigate the narrow hallway of the stone cottage. The soft glow of the flame dances on the walls, casting delicate shadows that seem to reveal secrets of the past. The secret you know best is how beloved the Willow Cottage was by all those lucky enough to find comfort in its stone walls. As you reach the bedroom, you set the candle on a bedside table, its warm light casting a soft glow throughout the charming space. Its golden light contrasts the flashes of silvery white from lightning outside. You slip out of your clothes, shedding the weight of the day, and reach for a pair of soft linen pajamas folded at the end of the bed. The fabric feels gentle against your skin, like a comforting caress. It drapes loosely around you, allowing you to move freely as you settle into a state of relaxation. The bed beckons you. Its layers of plushness promising a safe haven for letting go. The bedding is an oasis of comfort with crisp white sheets that invite you to wrap yourself in their softness. Pillows plump and pleasing are arranged like clouds of solace, offering support to weary heads. The handmade duvet is compiled of a lightweight fabric in colors and a design that you find most soothing. The bedroom retains charm and smells of dried lavender, fresh laundry, and clean rain. As you snuggle in the bed, your gaze drifts to the walls, adorned with photographs and paintings. Each image captures a moment of serenity and peace. An oil painting captures the beauty of the willows around the pond during the peak of spring, created by a former artist in residence. Photos of the woods and nearby estuaries hang on the walls capturing dreamy sunsets and sunrises. And on the bedside table is a photo of you in your favorite summery attire, looking wistfully at the pond as the willows surround your frame, a few inches shy of kissing your head and shoulders. 
the storm's symphony continues outside and its presence brings you comfort. The rumbling thunder becomes a lullaby, harmonizing with the pitter patter of raindrops against the window pane. Your mind goes with the gusts of wind, becoming quieter and distant, carrying your thoughts to places of dreams. With a contented exhalation, you blow out the candle and surrender to the cozy, sleepy moment. The Willow Cottage is a historic haven where weariness melts away and sleep beckons with open arms. You see yourself approaching the bridge to sleep, taking your time when you stand in its center, luxuriating in the bliss between worlds. You appreciate existing in so many places at a time, always capable of adding layers and dreams within dreams. At home in your bed, while also nestled in the willow cottage, and drifting across the bridge to sleep. You find solace everywhere your mind dares to go. The falling rain helps guide you into a peaceful slumber, knowing that you are safe and sheltered. You may be cradled by the sonic comforts of nature's tempestuous dance. Letting go, knowing every storm to come gives you a chance to do nothing but focus on feeling good, warm, happy, and soothed. Every part of your body is deeply relaxed as you inhale and exhale. You follow your breath to deeper places of peace and repose. You experience and observe this moment, seeing your serene self tucked in the layers of bedding in the willow cottage with a peaceful expression of a sleeping child. You welcome the waves of slumber washing over you as you let go. As fluid and adaptable as the willows, you find grace, you find bliss, you find fulfillment. Surrendering to sleep are listening to the last story in this collection. Cabin on the Bayou 
The bayou is a place where generations of dwellers remain in harmony with the land and connected to the life around them. Rather than control the environment, one communes with the abundant waterways, wildlife, and lush flora, adapting to the weather and the ever-changing world of the rich ecosystem. Nestled within a small motorboat that is reliable, though weathered by time and the brackish water of the swamp, you enjoy a post-dinner exploration with your beloved pet. For nearly a week, the rain has arrived each night, an hour or two after sundown. Dancing on the tin roofs of rustic cabins and sheds and disrupting the silky waters with a persistent patter. You take advantage of the clear skies as your pet balances on the bow of the tiny vessel that was named after them. Your furry companion's eyes are alight with wonder, captivated by every movement and sound in the bayou, as the sweet being connects with its intuition in the same way you do. You inhale deeply and smell the rain before it arrives. The minerality of fresh rain contrasts the earthy smell of the bayou, perfumed by the honeysuckle notes of the cypress groves. There is a thickness in the air that dissipates with each storm to create cooler nights perfect for slumber. Your small vessel easily navigates a labyrinth of narrow waterways and you duck beneath a curtain of thick Spanish moss that brushes against your scalp and shoulders as the boat enters a lagoon. The soft caress of the moss pleasantly tickles you and brings an unexpected smile to your face. The afternoon hours were spent languidly, napping and escaping the hottest time of day. But in the delicious hours before sunset, the air is less stifling as a breeze blows through the bayou. The narrow stream leads you to a hidden wonderland basking in golden sunlight that enhances the rich greens and vibrant tropical hues of flora in the lagoon. The placid water reflects the silhouettes of backlit trees and amber light pours over the hidden oasis in heavenly bands. The gentle hum of the engine reverberates through the stillness of the lagoon, creating a serene symphony that blends with the rhythmic chirping of crickets and cicadas hidden from view. As you glide along the water, creating ripples in your wake, your heart rate slows as you are lulled into a state of tranquility. You feel safe in this protected lagoon, drawn to vibrant fuchsia and lavender petals of water lilies that unfurl atop glossy green pads 
floating gracefully upon the calm surface. Their serene beauty serves as a reminder to embrace simplicity and find solace in the present moment. Orchids grow along the banks, their aerial roots reaching for the light among tall grasses. A chorus of bullfrogs serenades you with a rich vibrato that welcomes you to the special part of the marsh. Their deep, resonant croaks echo through the marsh as dragonflies skirt across the water with the grace of figure skaters. Their vibrant metallic shades of violet, teal, and sapphire blue pop against the green and brown backdrop of the swamp. As you navigate deeper into the heart of the lagoon, the melodies of the wild amplify like a symphony tuning up as the afternoon folds into twilight, the haunting call of a great blue heron pierces the air, its elongated neck reaching for the heavens along the bank. You watch in awe as it gracefully takes flight, soaring across the water, a symbol of grace and freedom. In the shallows, a pair of mallard ducks court one another, circling and frolicking in the last moments of daylight. As the sun dips below a row of oak trees, you feel grateful for another day and the tidings of the Louisiana Bayou. Captivated by the symphony of sounds and the gentle sway of the flora that moves in tandem with the rhythmic rocking of your boat. You close your eyes and inhale. You open them to take the scene in all at once. The lush sky is painted in the hues of childhood dreams, reminiscent of the pastels of candy confections and vibrant reds and pinks of sorbet and ice cream. With a heart full of gratitude and a mind filled with serenity, you return to the main arteries of water that will lead you to your rustic log cabin. You navigate with ease, led by intuition and a sense of familiarity, aligned with the slow, soothing tempo of the swamp. The landscape consoles you, a unique glimpse into one of the most diverse ecosystems. The navy blues of twilight greet you as you come upon your dock. Storm clouds begin to roll in, slowly yet with purpose affording you a brief view of the tapestry of stars that glitter over the bayou. You methodically secure the boat to its mooring and pause to peer out on the timeless masterpiece created by nature as it unfolds around you. Your pet hops off the boat and you disembark, 
finding balance on the creaking, weather-worn, splintered boards of the dock that lead you to your cabin. The century-old dwelling is simple and blends in with the landscape, nestled behind drapes of Spanish moss and cloaked in the shade of trees during hot, sunny days. Shadows of the rustling leaves move across the coppery red facade and the logs shimmer in the nocturnal blue shades. You ascend the stairs to the porch, illuminated by the soft glow of solar-powered fairy lights within mason jars that scatter across the railing. The screen door squeaks into the fairy tale cabin and your pet races to the kitchen to lap water from their bowl. You gather leftover scraps from dinner and like clockwork, raccoons begin to gather on the back deck. Time has fostered a routine based on mutual respect. As the curious creatures gather at dusk and await their turn for a treat or two. You draw open the back door and step outside. Your pet watches curiously from within. As you come closer to the raccoons with cautious steps, the animals regard you with bright, inquisitive eyes, their masked faces revealing a mischievous charm. They scurry playfully around the deck, keeping a reverent distance as you distribute treats to them one at a time. In the fading light, their nimble fingers deftly examine each vegetable and fruit sent their way. A bold raccoon, who you named after a daring influence in your life, does a playful dance in the center of the group knowing its display will garner an extra treat. You laugh as you toss him another offering, which does little to affect the camaraderie of the group, as they unanimously allow the boldest member to shine. Foreboding clouds fill the sky, their arrival felt in the bones of these intelligent animals. The raccoons playfully chase each other around the backyard, reveling in the last moments before the rain arrives and they hunker down in tree hollows throughout the marsh. In their light-hearted interactions, you find a reflection of your own childlike spirit, urging you to embrace the freedom and spontaneity that the bayou offers. You deeply appreciate the harmonious coexistence and boundaries drawn among all the diverse species that call the swamp home. The gaze of raccoons slips away into the wooded area behind the cabin as the first fat drops of rain begin to fall. You feel the cool droplets on your bare arms and face and welcome the sensation. You go inside to retrieve your pet to return together to the front porch, to rock in a porch swing and watch as the storm draws near. 
rain pelts onto the tin roof of the porch with a hypnotic beat, a sound that has become one of the most soothing sounds for sleep in the bayou. Its melody replaces the songs of swamp creatures who become quiet as they settle in for the night and find shelter from the rain. The cloudy sky is a rich palette of light and dark grays with varying tints of purples and blues. Lightning illuminates the horizon distant enough that the sound of thunder is buried by the staccato music of rain. You find comfort in the plush cushions of the porch swing and your pet joins you. They spin in circles before finding stillness and curl up in the deep sea. The balls of your feet rest on the wooden planks of the floor as you gently propel the porch swing forward and back. And just like the souls to occupy the four walls of this rustic dwelling that was built with purpose and love, you appreciate the shelter from the storm. The winds pick up, capturing the palm fronds of palmettos that wave like dark green fingers in the darkness. The twinkling lights on the porch are a golden beacon of hope and comfort, reminding you of the fireflies that come out on drier nights. And while the air is quite tropical, a slight drop in temperature and the steady flow of rain give you a chill and you decide to return to the dry, warm comforts within the cabin. Your pet's sleepy stare becomes attentive as you halt the motion of the swing and slowly stand. Together you return indoors just as the wind picks up and the rain takes a horizontal slant. The cabin walls are crafted from rough hewn logs that bear the marks of time and keep stories of all who have found comfort within. Exposed beams crisscross in the heart of the ceiling, dressed in delicate strings of twinkling lights that cast a warm glow upon the open space. The knots and imperfections in the log walls tell stories of their own, whispering of a rich history rooted in the bayou's embrace. Your mind wanders to the animals of the marsh in protective hollows and nests in trees, safe for the night. The cabin retains the sweet smells of old wood and dog-eared books that line a floor-to-ceiling library in the living room. Rows upon rows of books line the shelves their well-loved spines bearing the weight of countless stories and adventures that were shared over decades of reading in the cabin. 
With anticipation, you select a book from the shelf. Eager to get lost in a story you have read before. As it provides comfort food for your mind. Rain streams down the glass, refracting the golden light from within the cabin. You settle on the softest sofa you've experienced in this life, wrapped in a crocheted blanket as your pet curls up by your feet. Lost in the pages, you read slowly floating between the prose and the sounds and imagery of the storm. The yawns increase with each turn of a page as the outdoor world is cloaked in darkness but for the occasional reflections of the cabin's light in the rain. And when sleepiness causes the words on the page to become too bleary to read. The idea of sleep brings you delight. Your eyes and enter a small bathroom in the back of the cabin, appreciative of the abundant rain that you harvest and filter to be used to shower. You turn the rustic handles in the shower and warm water cascades out of a square rainwater shower head. Your pet curls up on a plush bath mat as you step into the shower and cleanse yourself of the day. The sweet fragrance of olive oil soap infused with the essence of bananas and magnolia envelops your senses, capturing thoughts of the bayou and the kind member of the community who makes these cherished soaps. The warm water eases away tension in your body the sound of the shower mimics the rain, lulling you deeper into relaxation. Steam fills the bathroom, floating above the vibrant sapphire, copper, and green tiles that create a mosaic of the bayou on the bathroom floor. You turn off the water and wrap yourself in a plush, soft towel. You bury your face into the cotton fibers and inhale the smell of clean laundry. Once dry, you slip into breathable bedclothes that adapt to the changes in temperature and humidity in the bayou. Ready for bed, you walk to one of the coziest, most charming bedrooms in the area. Colorful glass cathedral double doors open into the room, depicting the lagoon and its vibrant flora with stained glass tiles. Stepping through the doors prepares you to enter the dreamy oasis of sleep. Stained glass lamps cast the room in warm, colorful light. The bedroom is adorned with treasures collected from the bayou and your daily explorations with your pet. Delicate shells, polished stones, exotic dried flowers, and feathers grace the walls, each telling its own story 
of the wilderness outside. On the nightstand is a black and white photo of you feeding the raccoons, with your pet peering out the doors from inside the cabin. The photo captures one of the most joyous routines that Bayou Life brings. A vibrant quilt with intricate patterns and colors made of patches taken from beloved articles worn and appreciated throughout your life is stitched together as a comforting tapestry. The quilt holds the echoes of days and nights spent in the protective embrace of these fabrics. The pillows, plump and inviting, are covered in satin cases that match your favorite colors in the quilt. As you climb into the bed, your body sinks into the mattress, which squeaks softly when you settle and find stillness. Your pet jumps onto the end of the bed and curls up, and while their body is compact now, You anticipate when the furry companion sprawls out in ultimate comfort. No matter how they settle or how much of the bed they share, their presence brings an added sense of coziness as their warmth and weight lean against you and their gentle breaths inspire your breath to relax. Outside the rain continues its steady serenade, casting unique patterns of shadows on the bedroom walls. The droplets playfully dance transforming the room into a private theater of ever-shifting silhouettes. Crafted by Mother Nature, this is like much of the beauty of the bayou. It only exists in this unique display for a single moment in time. The rhythm of the rain accompanies the tranquility that pervades the space, offering a gentle symphony of calmness and relaxation. The soft pitter-patter on the rooftop delivers you to sleep. As the wind causes the trees to susurrate like a loving lullaby. In the sanctuary of peace, you find solace in the gentle sounds and even in the brief silence, in the quilt's warm embrace and in the company of your sweet pet. You float above the surface of deep sleep with the ease of a mallard gliding across the brackish water of the lagoon. You surrender to the simple serenity of the moment preparing to sail on a sleepy journey woven with the threads of dreams guided by the somnolent rain. 
Finding bliss. Finding contentment. Finding peace. Finding sleep. It's time to dream away.